Hey all, this is Reddit Oscar. On this channel we're releasing short, spoiler-free videos every day until the release of Elden Ring's DLC. Today's topic is the question, will the DLC answer significant lore questions? This question is particularly relevant for me because I'm of the opinion that Elden Ring is more confusing than the past games, and that the community can't come to a consensus even on basic questions. There's an uncomfortably large split on even what happened and why it happened. And so my biggest hope for the DLC is that it helps clarify things, or that the new information it presents brings added context to old questions. Now there's an attitude among the community that the DLCs of previous From Software games always bring more questions than answers. And that's led to some people believing that that will be the case here. So in this video I'd like to talk about why I think that's wrong. The DLC will answer questions, it will provide important context, and many of the things up for debate in the base game will be made clear. In an interview about Shadow of the Earth Tree, Miyazaki said the following, We started to imagine what the DLC development would look like around the end of development of the main title. It became obvious that there were elements in the big picture of Elden Ring that wouldn't fit in the main title, so we thought it would be good to release these to the world as DLC. However, at that point it was just a general idea and we were still focused on the main release. Actual development of the DLC started after the release of the main title, after the initial patches settled down a bit. So there were plans for a DLC before even the main game was finished. There were elements of the big picture they needed to take out because it wouldn't fit in the main title. And they instead decided to release it as DLC. And work on this DLC started soon after Elden Ring was released. So we know for a fact that this DLC is huge, we know that they've been working on it for a very long time, soon after release is when they started, and we know that it contains things that were part of the big picture of Elden Ring that didn't fit. Miyazaki also says the following about George R. R. Martin. Martin's involvement is the same as in the main title. The world and story of the DLC was inspired by the mythology that he penned just as in the main title, and was created thus. To be more precise, what was created this time is part of what was created from the inspiration we took from his mythology from the main title. So there was no additional writing done specifically for the DLC. So Martin didn't write anything new. And that's a good thing, because that means they're using the original mythos. There was stuff that Martin wrote down that is being used in this new DLC. Stuff that wasn't used in the base game. It's very likely Mesmer already existed. In previous interviews, Miyazaki talked about how the demigods each had heroic concepts when Martin wrote them. Martin also wrote their relationships to each other. And in this interview, Miyazaki refers to Mesmer as an example of another kind of hero. And he also mentions that he's referred to as a child of America and is on the same level as the other demigods. So all of these are very good signs that Miyazaki intends for this DLC to answer important questions. In fact, that might have always been the plan. What we know of the actual content in the DLC is that it will involve Mikula and Marika. Much of Marika's history will be known. And these are exactly the things we need to know about. Marika's past and what happened to her would be incredibly useful into inferring her motivation and what she wants and what she doesn't want. Mikula and Marika information is what we're lacking the most and that is specifically what we're getting. And once we have it, I think that there's going to be downstream effects from knowing things for certain. Many lore theories will be all but confirmed, and many will just wither on the vine based on the information we get on this DLC. Finally, the reason that I think this DLC is going to give us a lot of answers is because the DLCs in all of the Souls games always give us the important answers. I don't believe it's the case that the DLCs usually give us a bunch of confusion. No, the DLCs give us answers, and in fact, that's often their explicit purpose. The clearest example is Dark Souls 3. In an interview about the upcoming Ashes of Ariandel DLC, Miyazaki said the following, What we're trying to do is approaching the big theme from the main games from a different perspective. With a different perspective, I mean that we've been using the painted world as a different perspective in order to describe the main game's theme symbolically. End quote. So, the purpose of the DLCs in Dark Souls 3 is to provide a contrast. By looking at the same theme from a different perspective, you're able to better understand the main theme of the main games. Now, we're not going to go into what those themes are. There'll be links in the description if you're interested. The important part is that the point of the DLCs was to provide answers. Answers to specifically the big questions. And for Elden Ring, the big questions are exactly what need the most attention. 
So, given everything I've said, it is my belief that Elden Ring has giant holes in its lore that were left there deliberately with the intention that the DLC would make them more clear. At least that's what I hope. Anyway, that's the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for watching.